Hey, this is Time Bomb, and if it's your first time checking out the channel, hit that subscribe button to help me get to 1,000 subscribers. Thanks a lot for joining me today. I'm gonna break down another formation out of the 4-6 speed package. It's one that, you know, I have been using a lot of. So this play, this cover three that I'm gonna break down, very similar to the cover three invert that I've been using here, you know. Um, you know, right off the bat, this difference is them is that the safety is in the mid read, and here uh, the safety is in the deep blue, which I often will switch. So they effectively become the same thing when you do that, but they don't play the same regardless of that. So we're going to cover three, and we'll just go with a random play. Now, again, this is another play that I can just use so much of. Um, I set it up the same way, basically, as the cover two invert, and I'm going to use the same person, and, you know, I just feel very confident. I can shut down most plays. Now the thing is, I like it. The only really re real reason to use it is because I, I, the cover two invert has the deep halves already set up, where this one has the outsides in the in the uh, in the outside basically. Oh shoot, sorry. The sorry B and my my cornerbacks are basically in outside thirds. That's what I'm trying to say here, and so that's. Basically, if I want, I can switch one of them to a deep half, but generally I've brought them out for that reason, so I, I'll leave them that way. And it just makes them focus more on the CB on the outside rather than also playing the middle. So it just, you know, it just puts more responsibility on me to play the middle and just basically whatever I think my C, my uh, my cloud flats are gonna have to commit basically more down low. So it's just situational and when I'm gonna use it this way or that way, but I generally feel like I can shut down most plays with this defense. It's very versatile. I can stop the run. I can stop the pass. Uh, you know, you can get the odd sack here and there if they do run outside. So I'm gonna quickly go over the setup. First thing I do is hit the Y button, base the line. Then I hit the Y button down on the right stick. Then the Y button up on the right stick. Then the RB button and up on the left stick to spread them out. Then the last thing that I do is I hit the LB and left on the left stick. Then I'll double tap LB, hit X, and left on the right stick so that I have him into a spy. And then I'll hit the left trigger and right bumper at the same time to put them into a contain blitz. And I do find that that contain blitz does help a little bit, just to kind of balances out the pass rush here is basically what I'm gonna do. and. Sometimes, if the quarterback isn't a threat to run outside on me, I would double tap LB and hit X and put him into a vertical hook. And then it's just basically, I can use her more over the middle heel here. I don't have to worry as much as that side of the field. If I think he might throw to a tight end like up the seam, it's a good reason to have that, uh, that defensive end in coverage as well. So he moved over there and then I can switch to the next level and so he's just basically shutting down all the routes there so we had to just check it down low. So I find that this defense, you know, very versatile, easy to read a play coming. You can set this up very quickly, you know, boom, I'm there. Sometimes I just like to back up some guys manually like that. Just give a bit bit of space here is all basically so that they're I don't know, I just haven't find having that spread helps them play the zones a little better so there's not as many conflicts. You know, I'm just watching over the middle here. I send in the spy a little late. Bad, that was my fault. See, it, it, I hate when that happens. I clicked in on the right stick and it kind of affected my usering just a little bit there, I found. Because it, I lost that step. I was using him the whole way. I knew that that's what I was covering, that right outside there. But just as I clicked in the stick to send the pressure, I kind of just... I just lost, you just lose kind of a step, it seems like, when you click that stick, it just affects you. And there, see, so we're gonna shut down the run. I don't know, I just feel so confident I can basically stop anything with this defense. Now, don't get me wrong, of course I'm still gonna get bombed, I'm gonna get beat, crossing routes can be a big problem with this with this cover three as well. I, I, they say that they kind of fixed a lot of that. I think they just fixed it with the cover, oh wow, what a move. I thought I had, wow, just sending the spin moves. Put me in the spin cycle, AI's gonna burn me there. See, play with, had the players there though, he just made a nice move to beat me. So, we got five wide on us here. Gonna back up the coverage a little bit. I'm gonna shift to this side. Just because the running back's over here, in case he's running a flat route. Oh, they're motioning over that side, so we're gonna, Balance it out again. <laughs> they end up running the rock, eh? Oh, it gets pretty good. See, I backed them off, so there wasn't as good run support there. I definitely saw a pass coming when it was four wide like that. 
We'll go with hard flats here this time. Keep everyone a little closer because we only see two wide and we're under center. Ooh, little draw play gets in there. Oh, he gets more than I really should have let up. That draw play really threw this defense for a loop there, though. So take note of that if you are seeing a lot of cover three out of a four six that maybe running the rock a little bit up his gut might mess them up. Ooh. Oh, wow. Terrible move there, computer. So he thought he had the outside, but we were able to get that play and, and shut him down. And let's take a look at it here in replay. See, right there, the way the cloud just crashed in on run support was awesome there. No one to help him out. He's in a hard flat, so he's going to commit to the run even earlier. Then look at that. Three other guys in pursuit. He's got nowhere to go. So he does this stupid spin move to nowhere, and we're going to take him out. So yeah, this is a play that I'm using a lot, so I have some gameplay footage here that we can also take a look at. So here we go, my opponent drops back to pass, gets a lot of time, and I have the spy following him, way late clicking on in, and luckily I have that, I don't though, and he tries to throw that man underneath, and we're able to just knock it down in the air there. Again, giving this opponent too much time, but I feel like the coverage is strong, so I'm able to click in a lot of times, especially anything over the middle, and just take that out using Sean Taylor or Amos, they're just so good at the click and picks again here my opponents work the ball down almost to the red zone trying to make that little pass but woodson in the hook zone is just going to jump on that ball it's really tough sometimes with these zones they're just so well defined i find that they are shutting down most routes it's just these little play playmakers if i give them too much time they might be able to but see my opponent tries to roll out one way throw across his body the other and you're going to get picked off when you do that more often than not here he goes play action which is always a mistake Pressure's gonna get in there eventually. LT is gonna make that sack. Boom! Look at that little little free throw shot afterwards. A little crossover and for three in his face. And again here he's trying, getting a bit too much time. He's gonna roll out. I send in the spy and he's gonna get that sack. You get a little too overconfident, I find, with this defense. Once you do, uh, once you do, they see it a bit. They think they can throw wherever they want. You send in that spy. You're gonna get sacks like this. Did that sack fumble. I thought I had a fat man touchdown here, but no, they say no to that. <laughs> Gonna take him out by the shoelaces. See, so I've got him backed out against his end zone, so I'm playing it safe. I see that I have the deep halves on the field, giving him too much time, but everything's on lockdown. Then I send in the spy, make the hit stick fumble, I recover, touchdown. So this is just a solid play that, you know, you can scheme your whole defense out of, and then switch it in with some of these blitzes and the cover two invert go with some nickel here and there when you need to in some third and long and some passing situations and boom you got yourself a defense so again this is out of the cincinnati Bengals playbook the four six speed package the base cover three it's great defense something that i've you know i got 15 wins at a weekend league this week using it i should have probably had 18 lost a few close games that i shouldn't have I had to play two opponents twice in a row and i i won the first game both times and lost the second game both times. So I think that says something about me. My scheme just is maybe one game deep, but I don't have a two game deep scheme. <laughs> but maybe that's just me. They were both closed games both times, but that, that was frustrating because I think I probably could have made 18 wins. But thanks a lot for checking out this video and let me know what you think of the 4-6 speed package. I'll catch you guys later. I've been Time Bomb. You guys are awesome.